everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have got a food haul for you today. I've just got back from Aldi and it's all out and I've not done a grocery haul for absolutely ages. So I thought I might as well film it and show you what I've got and share with you my meal plan for the week. It is a Slimming World friendly meal plan because as I've said in a few previous videos, I'm following it at the moment because I need to lose a little bit of weight. Um, they're generally quite healthy meal plans that I do anyway. Um, but this one I've taken a little bit more care over. So I will show you what we're gonna have for the week and then show you what I got. You can see it all out behind me. So here's my trusty weekly planner that I use to plan out all my meals. Um, so I'm gonna start on Saturday, because Saturday's today. Um, it just throws me if I work the other way around. So this evening, I'm not actually gonna be here for tea, um, but Ryan and the kids are gonna have pizza, salad, and corn on the cob. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna do a roast chicken um, with lots of veg and stuff. Then Monday and Tuesday I'm at work, so what I try and do is cook a big batch of something on a Sunday so that we can just heat it up on Monday and Tuesday. So um, that's going to be a Sri Lankan pork. That's out of the Taste of Asia book, um, Slimming World recipe book. Um, so I'll make a big batch of it and that will do us two nights. It might even do me the lunch one of those days as well while I'm at work. Wednesday, um, we're not going to eat with the kids. We're not going to eat with the kids on Monday and Tuesday because um, April's at nursery. And Libby has her tea at school. Uh, Wednesday we're not going to eat with the kids either because Libby has just started rainbow so we're going to give them something quick and um, they're going to have fish cakes and veg before she goes out and then later on Ryan and I are going to have burgers and chips. Um, it doesn't sound particularly healthy but it's the Slimming World version um, so it should all be within my healthy extras and it should all be free. Um, Thursday I'm going to cook a spaghetti bolognese um, and garlic bread. I won't be having any garlic bread, but Ryan and the girls will be. And then Friday, I'll be making another meal plan and going shopping because it's unusual for me to go on a Saturday, but I just didn't have any time in the week. Um, I like to have my weekends with Libby without having to go shopping. So Friday, um, we will be going shopping again. Right, so vegetable wise, I got myself a swede, that's for our roast dinner. Uh, broccoli's for roast dinner, it's good just to have it hanging around for veg for the girls for tea. I've got two broccolis actually. Um, a bag of sweet potatoes a bag of new potatoes and a bag of white potatoes, so a lot of potatoes, it's a good job it's free on something well. Um, a pack of parsnips, sorry you can hear April in the background. <laughs> a packet of parsnips and also some mushrooms. I got fruit wise a bag of bananas. I didn't get any other fruit actually because I already had quite a few berries and apples and stuff in the fridge. Um, then salad wise I got a bag of bistro salad, that's really nice, it's got the beetroot shoots in it. Some spring onions, two red peppers, um, and a basil plant. I love having a basil plant hanging around on the window. It smells amazing, and then you can just take off what you need when you need it. Uh, Meat-wise, I got two packets of mint, so one's for burgers, one's for the spag bowl. And I also got these extra trimmed pork medallions, and that's what I'm going to use for the curry that I'm doing. Um, and I got two packs of that. I won't use all of that, but... Um, it's good to have a backup, I'll just freeze it if I need to. Um, I got some bacon medallions, a little bit lazy, but all the fat's already been cut off for me, so I can use that when I need lunch or whatever. Oh, and I also got a roast chicken for tomorrow. I picked up some semi-skim milk, just a little two pint, that's the milk that Libby drinks. Um, April drinks whole milk, and we drink skim milk, but we already had plenty of that. Um, onion and chive cottage cheese. Everyone buys cottage cheese when they're on a diet, when they're on a diet don't they? Anyway, it is nice. Um, some cheese triangles, and um, that's really good for sandwiches for April because she's not um, that keen on meat or anything, so that's nice and easy. A big block of cheese, which of course I'm not really eating at the moment unless I use it as my healthy extra, whichever one, A or B. Is it A? I can't remember. Um, but the kids get through loads, and so does Ryan. Um, some from Australia, they like the Petit Feliz, but the Aldeone version, and a lot cheaper. Then freezer, I got a Mediterranean vegetable pizza. I got two of them. One will be for Ryan and the kids tonight, and the other one is like one that we just keep in the freezer. And I got some garlic bread slices. I used to buy a baguette, but actually I find these a lot easier because I can just cook what I need as and when I need it. Um, I won't eat any of this at the moment. Um, but sometimes I cook it to have so the girls can have a piece each with their dinner. Uh, like I said, I'm not here for tea tonight. Um, I'm going out with a friend to the cinema. Um, so I'm going to be out for tea. Um, I'm not going to be eating out. I am going to eat when I get home. So I picked up this Slimwell frozen cottage pie. Haven't actually worked out how many sins it is yet. 
um, but surely it's not going to be too much. I'll work it out later. Um, so I'm going to have that with some veg when I get home. Then pantry stuff, I got um, some sage and onion stuffing mix. That's for our roast tomorrow. Some sultanas. The girls like to have these on their breakfast. Um, and also some chocolate chips. And we're going to make some little cakes later. Libby wanted to do some baking. So we'll have probably a mixture of the two in their little cakes. Um, I got some basmati rice and also I picked up just these little microwavable pouches because they're quite easy for me to do for my lunch and so I got a basmati one and a pilau you can see my recipe book in the background that's the curry that I'm going to be doing it says beef but I'm going to do a pork one um, and then I got a can of rice pudding that's easy for the girls for pudding sometime two cans of chopped tomatoes some corn flour some brown flakes I normally have them for my breakfast um, I found these little Disney fruity bakes in there. They've got a um, baby event going on at the moment, so I thought they'd be nice for a little snack for April. Um, then I got some more anti back wipes. Can never have too many of them. Um, some dishwater tablets. Normally I like to buy the fairy ones, but I've run out, um, so I just thought I'd give them a go, see how they are. Um, two packs of some tissues, because we've all got colds at the moment. Like I said, the baby event's on, so they got this big, huge box of 12 wipes. Such good value. It's only £5.25 for 12 packs of wipes, which is really good. Um, and I also got some nappies, size 5, because we think the ones that April's wearing are getting a little bit too small. So we've gone for a size 5. I got some multivitamins with iron, because Ryan and I have one of them every morning. And then I've run out of moisturiser, um, so I just thought I'll pick this up. It's only a couple of pounds. I think it was less than two pound actually. Um, it's SPF 20, I do like an SPF. No idea if it's gonna be any good, but I'll try it. And then they also have this multi-intensive serum as well. So I picked that up and thought I'd give that a go at the same time. All that came to 65 pound 90, so not too bad at all. So there we go, that's everything that I've got for the week. Um, I might need to pop out and get a couple of bits here and there, but not too much. What's going on there? What is going on? These two, so you can see building stuff. Oh, our big tables in the kitchen at the moment because our extensions had to be re latex and stuff. Too. We're living on top of loads of stuff at the moment, which is driving me mad. Um, but the end is in sight, we're nearly there. I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did, then let me know. Give the video a like. Let me know if you'd like me to do more hauls. Um, I love watching a grocery haul. I don't know what it is about them. It's just some kind of weird, weird thing. <laughs> I like to watch them. So, thanks so much for watching. And I will see you very soon for another video.